go on and on with all the different false religions that are out there. But Jesus said, I am the truth, the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody yeah. comes to the Father but through me. Yes. And this is the words of Jesus, not the words of me or Scott or anybody else. This is the word of God. Now, one thing that uh, he was mentioning, mentioning that um, um, in order to discern the spirits, and I just want to touch on this for a second because we really don't have much time, but in order for you to discern the spirits, you have to know the word of God. That's right. You have to know the word of God because you need a reference point. You need to know where the lines are drawn, where it is, where it isn't, where it's coming from. You need to know the word of God to be able to stand in a day like this. Yes. Jesus said there would never be a time like this ever again. That's right. Amen. And that if God didn't come back when he did, even the very elect. Yes. Would fall away. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. You so know, we're, li we're, living in the, we're living in the last days. I know a lot of people, I just got a call and somebody just said, you're a kook, you're a crazy man. You, you, know, you, you and the people that you have on there, you, you know, you, you're running to God and only weak people run to God. Well, you know something? Real men and real women come to the Lord. That's right. Because it takes a real man to stand up and say, yes, I am wrong. Yes, I need help. You know, the word says that when we are weak, he is strong. That's right. He's our strength. Amen. You know, it, 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 some people need a crutch. I need a crutch. I need a crutch. Because if it wasn't for that crutch of Jesus Christ, I would be dead today. Right. Many times over I died. Many times I, I drowned twice and I was on my way to commit suicide when I had my personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Now, we only have maybe a minute left. Uh, uh, you know, I, it went so fast. It, it just went so fast. What I'm going to have is, uh, Scott, pray with the people that would yes. want to turn uh, uh, right now yes. and, and, and ask you to become part of their life and, yes. and, and, and to, and to uh, change their whole circumstance so that they can yes. uh, just... A, to wake up in Jesus' precious name. Would you Amen. pray with that? Praise the Lord. You know, if you've watched this telecast today, um, I'm telling you, yes, uh, I am called to the office of a prophet, and I am called to prophesy and be like that watchman on the wall to speak about the things that are coming. But it, the, God brings this word in love today because He loves you right there in your home. It doesn't matter, matter what mistakes you've made. It doesn't matter what you've done wrong. It doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter how far off course you think you are. Today, right there in your home, Jesus can come and bring a new beginning into your life, into your marriage, into your family, for your children, yes. no matter what you're facing, because He's the great miracle worker. And if you're saying to yourself, you know what, I've tried everything, absolutely everything within my own power, but I can't do it. I can't bring about the changes in my life. Well, I'm telling you today, Jesus can. And if you want to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, your own relationship with Him, not with the church, not with the denomination. This is not about religion. It's about a way of life. And if you want to accept Jesus Christ today as your personal Savior, just say this prayer with me. Say, Jesus, today, right here where I am, I humble myself before you and I ask you, to come into my life, transform my heart. I accept you today as my personal Savior. Let the blood that you shed on Calvary cleanse me and forgive me of all my sins. Let a new beginning burst forth today. Let the darkness in my life now be light. Your light, Jesus. Because I love you, and today, my life is in your hands. Okay. Amen. 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 Well, God bless. Thank you for coming on our program Thank you today. for having me. We, uh, uh, we, we just pray that you would tune in next week uh, to, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. Until next time, God bless you, and have a great and awesome week. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>